Hi everybody, hope you're having a great weekend. Let's see, uh, we're, we're at the end of May, it's uh, May 29th, and it's actually the beginning of the Allied turn in the second half of the turn. The Axis have already had their turn and they had a back-to-back -back turn uh, against, the, uh, against the 29th, the 26th and 29th, uh, it was a back-to-back -back for them. And they put that to good effect. Uh, earlier on in the month, we had conducted a uh, series of simulcast turns, four turns uh, for each side, uh, primarily because both of them were fairly short on supply and the Allies were really hoping to uh, forestall any serious uh, assault, uh, which, you know, would be good for them if they could get uh, their role in for... Uh, the end of the Greek campaign, which in fact did happen uh, this turn uh, on the 29th. So uh, they rolled for all of their uh, assets to be returned. And unfortunately, those rolls were not particularly good. And I'll show you here. Uh, the, the units on the left are the ones that are returning in the condition that they were in. The ones in the middle, uh, they will have to be rebuilt. And the ones on the right-hand side uh, don't return. Uh, that's uh, two organic trucks and two two brigades. So it's a bit of a blow. I, I was kind of surprised at that result. Uh, so that was painful. Uh, we'll be bringing. I've got to check on how they those units actually come back onto the board. But uh, I assume they just arrive in Alexandria or somewhere like that, and we can we can bring them on. So uh, <clears throat> let's have a look at what's going on here. If we look a little closer in that mm, tight pocket of gray units there, you can see that uh, there's been some sort of breakthrough. Now, what happened there was the, you know, the line it was fairly thin uh, for the Allies, and you've probably, if you've watched any of the other videos for the last, probably the last two months of Allied play, I've been, oh, the line's too thin, there's going to be a breakthrough. Well, I started feeling a little bit better about things because I got some, a uh, couple of units returned from... Uh, the far east, and we got some reinforcements on. Uh, I think uh, I put the sheet, away. the sheet away. Was we got uh, the South Africans came on in early May, and then we picked up uh, one or two uh, brigades. But uh, by the same token, we also had two additional brigades leave. Um, so it really was a 50-50 swap for uh, a 50-50 swap, a one-for-one -one swap of uh, reinforcements coming in and Greek uh, units leaving. So that was just really tough. Um, let's see. So, uh, what happened then? So, so how did this happen? So there were two uh, two stacks and uh, two stacks, excuse me, two stacks here, and those guys uh, uh, were forced to retreat and also took losses, and then. Uh, not to be, uh, not not just let that happen. Of course, uh, Straffer got said, "Well, heck, he has the entire." And we've got the Tiger convoy in in May. Uh, he had the entire Seventh Armoured practically rebuilt from scratch, and so he took the entire Seventh Armoured and hit uh, a stack here, which uh, really wasn't that strong. I think it was only. I'm just looking down here at my notes. Yeah, it was only five strength factors, combat factors. Uh, but it did have a 5 AR, and uh, we had 41 factors versus their 5. Uh, we went uh, straight up, we didn't go for any DGing. Whoops. I really didn't have a lot of arty that I could move into position anyway that was going to make an impact. Uh, these guys here uh, just moved uh, last turn, excuse me, they didn't, didn't, do, uh, didn't do much. Um, so I'm thinking this will be great. <clears throat> Well, we rolled a two for surprise, so, uh, and then it's six shifts. Was it six shifts? Five shifts. Yeah, so it was an AL2 result, which was just a freaking disaster. So these guys just got, it was actually this hex here. Uh, these guys just got punted back and, uh, uh, you know, oh, we didn't roll, forgot. See, he didn't participate in the combat, that's right, so. Um, Anyway, just a bad result. So that uh, 
that reaction movement really was just a disaster. So that uh, this this current turn, the 29th, has allowed the uh, access to reinforce all this and bring some units through. And they've got this KG here, and they've got the Arit division down here, uh, ready to roll uh, next turn. And uh, so he, here's what the dilemma is going to be, and the reason why we're doing the video primarily is, look, uh, we've got to decide. Uh, I'm thinking we've got to do a breakout roll uh, because this is in a zone of control here, the port, so there's no trace, and it's only a one T port. Oh, no, it's two T port. You can trace use uh, two T ports for trace supply in, uh, in DAC2. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to have to do a breakout which is going to be potentially really brutal. And if that goes exceedingly poorly, I, I, you know, I think we might be in a situation where we, this ends again. Um, I don't have any packs or um, equipment to rebuild the units that need to be rebuilt over here, these guys. I certainly get these four, uh, three brigades in there and a couple of, uh, and one battalion, that'll help certainly. But these guys are all going to be gone uh, for between one and six turns. And there's, there's a lot of good units there. I was just getting ready to pull out actually. And uh, in that reaction move, what I should have done is secured the Halifaya Pass exit. Uh, I should have put a unit here. And Here's Halafia Pass. I'll just move this here so you can see. Halafia, probably. Hal Halafia Pass, whatever. Anyway, uh, this hex here, uh, the Rommel, Roll 15th Panzer, that's in the entire 15th Panzer group there. Roll those guys through, put them there. That was as, as a result of two overruns. He did two overruns to, to knock out these two units and force the retreats and then uh, uh, finish his movement here. And then uh, in this turn, because he went back to back, and uh, Straffer got, or uh, um, what's his name here, uh, Campbell, didn't try and move, didn't try and roll for a second um, reaction roll, because you, you can do a reaction roll any, uh, any of those phases, the exploit phase or the reaction phase, so he could have actually tried to get around to here and save that hex, but uh, you know I missed it, and um, I've given the uh, I've given the allies more than enough chances. Uh, so uh, anyway, about the only thing I can think I can do here, because this is actually a pretty big stack. Um, it's got actually it's not that big, you know. Yeah, I thought it might be overstacked. It's uh, one, it's maybe two re, it's two and a half re. I was hoping I could, you know, bombard that and do some damage and DG it and then attack it, but I doubt that's going to help. It's going to be doubled there in that, uh, in defense there anyway. All the attackers will be half, whatever the case may be. So, pretty brutal. All right, I don't know how that became an eight minute video. It was supposed to be two minutes, but there it is. Well, I'll talk to you soon, and uh, we will be racing into June. Uh, I'll roll for the breakout, and we'll see what happens. Uh, unless I can think of a way to get out of there, which I, I, I doubt, but we'll see.